Before this episode starts, keep in mind these boys have no idea what they're doing. Bo and Brooke have set out to face the brutal outback of Australia with no experience at all. So we don't recommend you do this at home. Hey guys, welcome back to Gone Wild Australia. Today I'm with Bo. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Ben. I'm Dan. Skipper. <laughs> Today we're with Awesome SA Charters. Guys, we couldn't get enough. You guys saw the last video. We came out, we caught fish. Dan's like, do you want to come out? And we're like, hell yeah. But this time, let's run a competition. So Dan is going to be the instructor and is going to be the judge also. It's girls versus boys. We've got Shakaya and Van versus Brooke and I. We've got squid and crabs. We work on points, I reckon. Pause the video right now. Comment down below who do you think is going to win this, girls or boys? We've got it. So pretty much with crabs, the stinkier the better. No. Fresh. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> yeah, I hope I do catch a squid because I want to learn how to break the inside. You're going to eat yeah, it. Yeah, I saw how you cleaned that. <laughs> they were like, oh my God. I'm oh, yeah. such a mess. I was like going out into clubs and stuff and people were like, hey bro, by the way, I'll teach you how to break an ink sack. <laughs> I, I started off from not knowing anything, but which I, I learned everything on YouTube. All right, guys, I'm on my first squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah just. Yeah. Oh, one yeah. tentacle. So oh. nice and slow. We're heading. One or two. Just the one. Oh my God. <laughs> hanging on by a thread. Tiny. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah, you. That still counts though, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Squid is a squid. <laughs> definitely got the smallest, I reckon. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's one all at the moment. About two. Van's just hooked on. <laughs> Looks like a lot bigger than mine, I think. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> all right, one all. Good work, Van. Get your jag back. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, that's good. Right. Squid to come to you, and then there might be one or two that will follow oh, on. Okay, yeah, and that's right. why it's good to have one as a spare there. I see more lures, more possibility of getting the catch. The other states, they don't do Ooh, this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're on, you're on. Keep tension. Uh, you hit the bottom, I reckon. Yeah, okay. Just give it a whip. Remember, you lift before you lift it up. Just have a look around. Yeah. Nothing there. So. Seaweed doesn't count, unfortunately. <laughs> That's no. still one all. <laughs> got something? Yes, you got something. Oh. There. Go, 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 go. Oh yes. First crab head. <laughs> oh yum. <laughs> Yeah. So does that count for us? Because yeah. it's on our side? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Two one. Oh under? Oh under. Oh, under. Oh, just, on. Can you just. run a slide? As you said like. Are you happy as undersized? Very, very. <laughs> second one for uh, second square. Okay. It's still tiny guys, but apparently it still counts. Dang, what's oh. with Whoa! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Squirted all over me. <laughs> Brooke loves the squirters. Are you on? Oh, oh quick to the on this one. Is it even smaller? Yeah, young boy. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Now the vulture feels less bad about yeah. himself. <laughs> Look at that, it's the size of a squid jack, literally. <laughs> Alright guys, for the for the humanity, just a little bit. Am I right in saying that's who all yeah? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We'll Let's give go, it boys. to him, we'll give it to him. Yeah. Nice work by Van. That's giant. Male? Uh, female. Female? Oh, no, no. No, male, male. male. Oh, wow. Well, I think that's the biggest I've ever seen, like, caught. Shakaya. Van just got all inked on. <laughs> Dan caught this one, so it's not counting. And we're trying to get Shakaya out of this maze right here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro. She's very quiet too. She'll just pull up and not even say anything and just like dump the squid on the boat. <laughs> Guys, whoever says we're not a fishing channel at this point. <laughs> okay, and then we're up by one with the crabs. Three crabs in total, two by us, one by them. And they're yet to pull theirs up. So if you want to pull it up, Shakaya. That's hot. No. Beautiful. <laughs> Still pull it up? Brooke wants to win so much. Cool. So Guys, within literally like 10, 20 seconds, I'm on, I'm pretty sure. Wow, good spot, man. Good size, too. I'm so glad you're my teammate. <laughs> yeah, look, 
Oh, he's a little guy. Oh, what? Oh, what the oh, oh, oh. was that? It was like a real flatfish. Oh, it was like flat. That's yeah. weird. Oh, flathead? No, it was like, no, no, like um, wide and flat. Guess um, I'll Oh, really? Um, that's rare as hell. Is that flounder. That's a flounder. Oh. They're really rare. Oh. Does that mean I get like an, an extra two points or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't land it. Yeah, half point. Yeah, half point, half point. Oh. <laughs> oh, <you got> <laughs> Wrong one. Oh, I was meant to get Shikaya. So Dan, what's the score? All right, the girls got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And the boys got one. And uh... Man, can you explain my half? Because <laughs> <laughs> you almost, you caught the, the rarest uh, species, uh, the flounder. But you didn't land it, so we got half point yeah. that one. Uh, crabs, what did we get here? To each. We let one go, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, Which, you got a half point that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you see the boys on one and a half as well of the crab, and the girls on two. All right, look at that. Oh. Hey. Hello, buddy. Boys, that's girls. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's pulling it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. good choice. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> So the bait bag just blew up, we forgot to bring it in and just completely smacked Shakaya. Oh, you poor thing. Stink. Oh. Look at the dog. Oh, wow. That's a massive dog. Here are some fun, interesting facts that I'm reading from Google about the Australian fur seal. The female fur seal spends most of her life, up to 20 years, spent in pregnancy, who gives birth almost yearly to a single pup. Merely a week after delivery, she can proceed to mate again. These seals are not highly aggressive animals. They swim in large groups. Any attacks they make are generally made in defense. When threatened, they swim quickly out in various directions to cause confusion. When dominant males are protecting their territory they've established for themselves against other males, their aggression appears in sounds and vocalizations such as grunts, barks, and growls. There you go, guys. I reckon a great white's next. The biggest sea sand is the size of this boat. Do you have biggest jaws with this? Got fire, baby! Put them out of the misery by poking them through on top of the head. See if they're burning. Yeah. Give it a wriggle. Then they'll fall asleep. That's the most humane way of killing yep. them? Yep. Yep. And then, uh, otherwise, uh, one other option is from on uh, a slushy of ice. Yep. And then they'll put it up to sleep. Wow, look at the size of this one. It's huge, eh? Yeah. Uh, the biggest, I think, for this year, claw to claw, I think 66 centimeters. Yeah. So this one is 61. Yeah, so 66 Jeez, around about here. Man. Yeah, some big claws. Yeah. Look like that. So when you put it in the pot, put them upside down. The water, a bit of salt water. I, I put a little bit extra, but you, you, don't, you don't need as much. Are you in a line to put their crab in the pot? Yeah, there you go. Cool. So Dan has uh, told us that you can have squid as sashimi. So Van is going to cook some up for us and we're going to try raw squid. Up. Without busting the ink sack. Oh, very so nice. Like that, right? Italians love this, by the way. They uh, put in their pasta. Yeah. Um, for this. I think it was you that was saying that. Yeah. Yeah. It was you. There it is. Yeah. That's it there. Oh, that's the ink sack. That yeah. little thing. Yeah. Produces lots of ink. She's made it look so easy, guys. I'm gonna put B-roll right now of me trying to do this. It was just a mess. <laughs> How the f do people do this? Want to eat it? No, no, no. <laughs> I will. Oh yeah, you should eat it! <laughs> Why, <laughs> will my whole mouth go black? Yeah. Alright, sweet. I'm gonna eat its ink sack. Has so much ink, ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. O
What do you like better, boy? You're gonna say the tuna. I love the tuna, but they're two different things. It's like comparing apples with oranges. I can't do it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, if you're you a try. champion. You have to swallow it. It's sweet. Oh. Just chew it. It's just sweet. It crunchy. You feel the crunchy? Crunchy is mm. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it's it? Fresh. It's different, isn't it? I've never eaten anything like this in my entire life. Just I feel like it's not something I should be eating. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm eating like yeah, my, my an friend. eraser. Guys, that definitely deserves a thumbs up. Like this video. <laughs> Thank you, you're natural. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes already. Crab and squid is cooked. Lots of steam, look at that. Oh. Oh, did we catch orange ones? <laughs> Give me to do a backflip. <laughs> oh, I'll land oh. on my neck. <laughs> Let's stop recording, I'm not doing anything. Like a lollipop. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm. Is blue, blue crabs <laughs> the best eating? Yeah. Mm. Oh Have my you had uh, mud mud crabs? What do you reckon? Oh, it's better. Yeah. Mm. Decent amount of meat on these ones. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Feed the chickens. Feed the chickens. I've got my visa! I've got it! I promise! <laughs> guys, so we've moved over to Gawler Beach off the boat, so we're out here hunting for cockles. And guys, these cockles we're going to be using tomorrow in the next episode to catch whiting, so stay tuned. We're going to keep the competition going, guys. So how many are we going to get each? Is it 300 each? Yeah, 300 each. So guys, they're up on the squid and crabs. Let's try and come back with the cockles. And guys, we're going to be doing a catch and cook as well. Thanks for the hand clap, it's so cute. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of a catch and cook on the beach. I've never tried cockles, so stay tuned to watch us eat some cockles. <laughs> yeah, so Dan was just saying the way we're going to catch the cockles is we just dig our feet into the grounds under the water and uh, just pick them up with our feet, I think. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> All right, so pretty much like a shovel with a twist, go like that. And do it. you dig in, once the tide comes out, it'll wash, a bit, uh, it'll soft up the sand a bit better once the water moves through it, and you pick it up for that. Otherwise, another technique is you sit down and you dig with your hair, right? We got a bag out, and the boys lost by ten. Oh, no. No. dude! Yes. I told, I said we need to hurry up at all the right. end. Wow. It's all all right. They had an extra hand at the end, but <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's not bad. And how, like ten. how many total? Eighteen hundred. So what we came for? Yeah, came with what we came for. Two boats, six people. Uh, Lucky we had some backup, the boys had some backup and they caught up. Yeah, almost very close. Guys, we're, ba we're basically about between 70 and 100 behind the whole time. We caught up right at the end. Nah, good game, so, mate. so upset. Oh, let's go oh. Wagyu steak and enjoy. Wagyu. Oh, Wagyu. Yeah, we got Wagyu steak. Yeah. Dan, what part of the ocean do you catch Wagyu? <laughs> <laughs>